हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी सोवलेट बेसिक्स पार्ट थ्री सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वॉट वी हैव सीन इज वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस एड सोवलेट डॉट जावा फाइल एंड इन दिस वन वी वी आर सेंडिंग द रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम आवर सोवलेट पेज सोवलेट टू द ब्राउजर सो इट वॉज जस्ट अ रेस्पॉन्स दैट वी आर सेंडिंग फ्रॉम आवर साइड टू द ब्राउजर एंड वी आर नॉट यूजिंग द रिक्वेस्ट पार्ट so user was not sending anything we were just solving this particular thing to the browser from our java file and we have done the configuration in web.xml i will zoom in this a little bit so that it will be clearly visible to you all right and i will also do that for the java part all right so now in this lecture we are going to see the request part so i'll just comment that out for now all right now we are going to work on the request part all right so we are we are supposed no, sorry the first thing that we need to do is under this web app we need to create a html page all right because we are supposed to get something something from the user side right so for that i will just create this html page first under the web app and i will name it add numbers all right dot html and i will hit finish all right it is created i will just change the title to add numbers and here in body we will create a simple form okay we will have two input parameters here we will keep type is equal to text we will keep and we will name this as num1 all right we will copy this particular thing we will paste it here we will change it to num two okay we'll also give one label here for the better understanding it's a number one okay i'll copy this thing i'll paste it here and i will change it to number two okay so label is also there i will give a break here so that it will display in a different line I will also do that here. Then I will create a button, okay? And I will keep the type as submit, and I will also name it as submit. All right. So this is done. So if I want to see this, how this page will look, what exactly you have to do is you have to right click here and open with the web page editor. So it will open up. it's a clips feature so it will just show you how exactly your uh, page will look like so it will look something like this and suppose if you don't want to open it here i will just save that and if you want to see that in browser you will have to open with web browser so it will look something like this in the browser okay so in which we are using it for the testing purpose so we will not use any uh thing else that will be fine for now okay so what we have to do next is now we have to do the servlet part all right so servlet we have created our html page now from the html page we need to map this servlet so html page will will be the our user side so user will be entering two numbers now we have to get that okay so this is where the value will be coming if we'll map this servlet to the add numbers.html so this is where the request will be coming so now we'll get that so we have this method called request request dot get parameters get parameters the method and here we need to pass the name of that parameter that we gave okay and i will assign it to a local variable 
ओके एंड एक्चुअली फ्रॉम दी यूजर साइड वी विल बी गेटिंग इट इन इन टीजर फॉर्मेट सो नंबर ही विल बी एंटरिंग और सी विल बी एंटरिंग ऑल राइट एंड हियर इट इज़ अ स्ट्रिंग सो वी नीड टू पास दैट so i will use integer here and this i will parse to integer so integer dot percent okay i will use the integer dot percent all right it's done now we'll do the same for the and i will name it as num1 and for this one num2 okay and here also it's num1 and num2 now we have got the parameters from the user now what we have to send it, do is we have to send back the response so what we will use is we'll use response dot get writer that we have used earlier right the same thing we'll use here okay we'll assign it to a local variable writer and now we'll send back the response so writer dot print ln all right in here i will say the sum of and here i will give num1 i will give space here the sum of num1 and num2 is and here i will give num1 plus num2 okay all right so this looks okay here one plus is missing all right so this looks good now all right so what we have done done is we have created this html page for the user side then we have we already had this add servlet dot, dot java we have first got the input from the user side and then we are sending the response back to the user all right so now what we have to do is we have to do the mapping all right so we already have actually we are doing the changes in the same servlet page so we already have the web.xml configured we will just change this to add servlet all right so now how this will pick the html page how this will map to the html page so what we need to do is so actually if you have seen the earlier video this is the server configuration that we have done the same thing it's all there right only thing that we have changed is the url pattern now we will be using this url pattern all right and same this particular thing we have to use in form action all right i will save this i will do the save all all right now what i will do is i will just start the server okay server is up and running and now you have to click on add numbers dot html and click on run on server okay it says http 404 not found add numbers dot html so it seems that we have given the url pattern name same as the servlet name so that could create a problem so i will just change it to add and i will just save this and also in here the same url pattern we need to mention here in add servlet all right so i will also save this particular thing and now i will again do the run run on server okay it is asking me to restart the server all right restart it now now we are able to see the form now i will type 5 as number 1 and then nine okay click hit on submit the sum of five and nine is 14 so okay if you are not able to see all right i will run this again and again i will show you okay after you and i will just repeat it once again what we have done so far 
first we have created this html page where we have created this particular form okay two input forms okay we have given the name for the both input field then we have created the add sublet.java we got these two numbers from the user side using the request parameter all right and then we are getting it in a actually it is in a, it gets text in a string format so we are just parsing it to integer because user will send that data in the integer format the number format all right now we are sending it back to the user by using the response dot get writer method okay and again and then in web xml we have done the configuration for that all right and this is the url pattern that we need to pass in the action of the form all right so i will just run it once again and i will show you run and run on server i will give the number here as 12 and here as 14 and hit submit the sum of 12 and 14 is 26 so this is all i hope you have liked this video and if you have liked please like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching